Hello! Welcome back, regular viewer, loyal subscriber to Champions of Kryn. We're going straight to begin adventuring. Now, if you recall last time, we had encountered a group of Draconians out in the wilderness attacking a caravan, having slaughtered all the men and the women. Well, slaughtered all the men. We rescued the women and children and have escorted them back to our outpost, where we can now rest up for the moment. And uh, I think, if I am correct, that one of our characters, in this case, Sammy, has gained enough experience to become a level three thief. Do I wish to train? Yes, please. Congratulations. You see, we've gained two hit points there on that level, which is half a dice roll uh, for Sammy. Uh, we could have a look at the character, but it hasn't really changed other than hit points. Uh, she's probably got marginally better at uh, picking locks and sneaking and finding traps and the like. But uh, we have been instructed by Sir Carl Gardson to go and investigate Throttle, which is apparently abandoned, but um, we suspect, of course, the uh, fortress is not abandoned. Uh, and we leave. We don't need to go in the outpost. Let's go. There we go. And up to Throttle. We're near Throttle. Do you enter? Well, this I think is going to be a fight, but. Uh, Throttle's off limits to you. Leave and no one gets hurt. What do you do? Well, I think we are going to attack. So, our first major battle, and um, we can use our manual aiming to get a look at our opponents. The hobgoblins here are not particularly strong. They've only got four hit points, so they will typically go down to a single... Uh, whack from a weapon. Armour class 5 is okay, um, but they are being backed up by these warriors that are a bit more serious. They have 18 hit points and uh, armour class 3, so they're a bit more difficult to hit. And along here we have a hobgoblin leader, um, equipped in the same way as his uh, comrades, but a bit tougher to hit in terms of AC4 instead of AC5. And five additional hit points. Now we have um, Prince Kaiserian is here in the corner and assuming that all of these guys are just going to wrap around he is going to get attacked quite a lot um, but we're going to try and um, make sure that he survives. So let's just exit here. Um, Eamon is going to cast a spell and we're going to see the power of the sleep spell to begin with. So we'll go for manual targeting. And I think sleep does a three by three. It doesn't show you, but it uh, it does a three by three area of effect. And um, what we're going to do is first of all, protect our wizard by casting it here. And it should get the three hobgoblins and the warrior. <laughs> Amazing graphical effects. Uh, okay, so Vapen Storm is uh, a capable warrior with his longsword. Um, if I hit one of the sleeping hobgoblins, they will drop immediately. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is aim for one that's in front of me. Oh dear. Okay, uh, Ashling uh, is going to cast Sleep. Uh, manual. So we've done these four, so what we're going to do is go and do this one, and this should get a good seven targets here, hopefully. Right, seven targets asleep. Get a miss, bit of missage there. Um, I could cast a clerical spell, but I don't think we're under any threat. So I'm going to start tackling the enemies that are asleep. Ow. So Kaiserian got hit there. Um, and he's armed with a 
short bow so what I'm going to do is first of all a few items uh, and we're going to re-equip shield and longsword and then we're going to aim manual and let's attack the le leader oh, missed okay aim manual uh, I can only hit sleeping targets so I might as well start working on them right uh, I'm gonna save my spells um, but I can also start I take off his short bow and go to melee exit we're going to move him up here um, okay manual See, I've, the hobgoblins have moved forward and they've created a wall. The warriors who are perhaps more dangerous can't get past them, um, which gives us a good chance to do some damage. What I'm going to do is just cast... I could um, heal myself, but I might actually leave that for the moment. Uh, probably just attack. Uh, move that way. There we go. I mean, strictly speaking, I should attack the uh, warriors while I've got the opportunity. Uh, move. And whack. Move. Up. And whack. Okay, I'm... Cop the damage there. Move. Okay. Wish, wish, ow, wish, wish and a miss. Got 15 hit points, got nine, but he's helpless. Might as well finish him. I'm going to uh, move up and actually cast a healing spell and we'll cast it on you. Warrior surrenders continue battle no. Plenty of hit points are all around and now the treasure. We'll pull the money and we'll share it out and now we can take some of the items. There's a lot of items to take here. Uh, the game not scared of uh, allowing us to loot the equipment of the uh, people we have defeated. Um, shields I can buy for one steel piece, so they're probably not worth collecting for the encumbrance. So, but I'm going to make an attempt to collect all of the mail and, sorry, ring mail and swords here. But we will quickly fill up.
Now there's some scale mail here, which is uh, better protection than ring mail, uh, if my AD&D memory is correct. Um, only by one, but uh, it might be worth it, so we'll take that. Another scale mail, that's quite good. And another scale mail, but we're out of encumbrance on him. Ring mail, portal, portal, scale mail. Ring mail, ring mail. Encumbrance on her. This is why you need high strength characters. Take. And him. Take. Good sort of ring that. Okay, that's going to be good for me. Now, if we uh, go up and uh, view Rin. We can take off the ring mail and put on some scale mail. We should see that her armor class has improved to two, indeed it has. Um, so we're going to do that for Prince Kaiserian as well. View items. We take off his ring mail and we trade it for the Sammy. Um, he hasn't got scale mail equipped, so we're going to have to go back to Rin. This is the bit of the game which becomes slightly irritating because there's not quick ways of doing this, as far as I'm aware. Exit, exit, Prince Kaiserian view, items, scale mail, yes. Exit. Right, and uh, I think we had three scale mail, so Iman should be able to uh, pick one up. I'll just trade that ring mail with Sammy again. Exit. I'll go back to Rin. Items. No. Scale mail. There we go. Trade. No. Trade. Mission. Okay, so you items scale mail. Right, so armor class improvements across the board. Uh, Amon took a hit and set nineteen hit points. Uh, no, it's just the shields left on the ground. Right, and so here we are um, in the halls of uh, Thropal. And um, this is where you might get out your... Uh, uh, actually, there's a view function here. Area, that's the function. This is the map of Thropal. Uh, you can see we are at the arrow here, and it identifies kind of all of the spaces uh, to employ. It does fall into the trap of um, many starting uh, dungeon masters where there isn't really any clear indication of which way you ought to go. And so the dungeon party tends to adopt a more mechanistic and systematic method of um, exploring a dungeon environment, which is either stick to the left hand wall or stick to the right hand wall uh, to make sure you... Um, visit every location but that's not very satisfying from a role playing point of view um, the clue book that came with the uh, game as well I believe um, is incredibly detailed um, and rather than offering just hints and tips uh, goes into a blow by blow account of every single dungeon design um, which is based on I think 2020 grid uh, and you get a coordinate system as well so it helps you navigate um, I don't mind using the clue, clue book particularly. It's not an organic method of uh, playing the game. You don't get to get the exploring, but it does mean that you can uh, circumvent some of the one-way doors and other things that get put into the dungeon to uh, to confuse. Um, you can search the location, uh, and look around. Um, there are many ways of accommodating this. So. Uh, 
just do the area again. Look. And then I think we can just turn around. No. Okay. Move. That I think has rotated us to the right. And then we move forward. We come across the door. Ah! A man, gibbering with fear, stumbles into view. He cries out in anguish, Caraman, where are you? Look out above you. It's a trap. What's your trap? The rest of his speech is journal entry 38. They're back. Back there. Who? Oh, look out. No, no. I stabbed one. It took my sword. I couldn't get out of its body. Caraman! His eyes clear for a moment and he becomes more lucid. Listen to me, he says. They've captured Caraman. Most of our party has been wiped out. He suddenly jerks about. What's that? Get them! They've got Caraman. Find him. I'll, I'll find him. North. North and west and south. Traps. Back up. Go back now. Quiet. Quiet. Look out! Above you! Oh, oh no! 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 He gets a sly, slightly mad conspiratorial look on his face. I saw a money chest in a room to the east. To get it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be set. He looks around and leads towards you. Do you, you want to help? Huh? What would you say? The terrorised looks comes back and he screams and gasps in terror. Room to the east, you say? Well, we could always go and have a look. So let's move, uh, exit, move. Okay, let's go and do another battle, I think. Ready? Ah. Voices echo nearby. Mertani's plan is about to. What do you do? I will eavesdrop. Eggs in the temple. Death night. Conversation. That was an amp. You are discovered. The battle begins. Right, let's get a, a few of the battle room. Okay, so we have all of the enemies are back here. We have the Bars Draconians. These are the Bronze Draconians, made from the eggs of the Bronze Dragons. We've got Hobgoblin leaders. Lots of them. Uh, and warriors again. I don't know, I think this doesn't represent a particularly dangerous party. Let's just make sure there's nobody up here that's going to ambush us. No, I think we're okay here. So we'll form our battle line uh, here at the front. Um, I don't think they've got ranged abilities, so we're just going to allow them to come onto us. And then we'll see uh, how they go from there. So I'm going to move. Uh, done. We'll swap him over to just take off his shields and long swords and we'll equip his short bow. We're just going to aim previous which goes to the furthest away and we'll um oh we can't target him so manual see if we can we can target the person in front of him. Let's do that. Missed. Okay just move you forward done then we're going to done and guard. Move Ashling forward and uh, what spells have I got? Let's use a special spell here. I'm going to bless. Uh, some spells take a while to cast. There is then an opportunity to um, interrupt them with damage. I'm going to move Sammy here down. Uh, and we're going to Aim previous. Let's just target. Oh, I'll copy and leave it. Okay. So, Rin, uh, I will done and guard. Now I get to cast my spell. And 
three by three pound. Oh no, more than three by three. Excellent. Um, right, I will move Kaiserian forward. Uh, you item, get rid of his shield and long swords and equip his short bow. That's it. And then we'll move the previous. Target these. If I can target him. Taking out the uh, bars will be good from range because they, um, your weapons get stuck in them. So. Wow, you move quick. Okay. Uh, he lost his weapon there. If you saw that very quick message, I don't know if I. And slow those messages down so that they become a bit easier to uh, to look at but um anyway uh, game manual and we'll target you all right now you've got a short bow there's no penalty here i believe for swapping weapons so we're able to do that uh relatively cleanly but he is still injured so we might want to just um, heal him with our Mishakal cleric uh, that's the white wizardy one with a pointy hat behind him and we'll do cast miraculous wounds and then i'll do uh, aim manual i can target you There another bars or no we killed both of them okay that's good so let's just uh see if we can work this one uh dumb girls uh, you oh she healed okay Seem to do two lots of damage to him. Am I firing two arrows at once? That would be a bit rude. Uh, swap the soldier. Just try to. Okay. Am I going to cast any more spells here? No, I think I'm going to um, keep them. Oh, hello, cat. Cat has arrived. Good stuff. So we will aim. One hit wonder. Right, what I am going to do is just move um, Sammy back one. Create a space for Prince Kaisarian. At useless animal. She's sweet, really. And uh, this. So I don't mean to read out the name of our every um, button I'm pressing. It seems to be just hard not to. There may be another cue like wounds here. We'll do manual targeting. Runes on seventeen. Aemon's on 24. So let's target Rin. Uh, Rin herself. Now I should be able to. Uh, I've only got three move left. That's not good enough. But we'll, we'll make a start. So can't go there. Okay, I've used all. Oh, you want to eat my lunch? Okay. I suppose I'll allow that. Right, I don't like this, all of these attacks uh, on me. So what I'm going to do... I'll probably have to just uh, see this out anyway. But let's start whittling away the uh, hobgoblins. Okay. 
three hit points there and two here. That's spreading damage around. It's not very efficient. Right, I'm not wearing a weapon at the moment, so I've got a few items and go for a secondary weapon. I will use one of the broadswords. Got plenty of secondary weapons that we've picked up off the floor. Okay, um... Right, he seems to have controls. Ah, he's got poor movement because of his encumbrance, of course. That would make a lot of sense. Just uh, picking off a bit of damage at a time. At least we're keeping it consistent. Continue that or no. 145 XP. And we'll pull and then share. And then take. Again, we've got lots of uh, equipment here. I don't think there's anything worthwhile taking. We'll take the scale mail perhaps. She's encumbered now. Uh, we'll leave the ring mail and the broadswords. I don't think they're worth as much. Uh, certainly leaving the shields. Exit. Now we could uh, min-max this by going back to the outpost, selling off all of the uh, garbage and then coming back. And we may well have to do that anyway. Just to keep things ticking over. Checking my notes here. No. Oh, random encounter. Oh no. In a tiny, teeny, tiny room. Right, so I'm going to cast a spell here. I've used my taunt ability here. Don't know if it's going to do any good. Um, but what we are going to do is to swap back to my longsword. Difference between broadsword and longsword in this system is subtle, but um, mainly comes around in terms of the damage dice against giant creatures, which is different. Uh, but in this case, it probably doesn't matter. So I'm just going to whack you. Got a short bow, so I'm going to have to take that off you and equip you with shield. And we'll whack you. Ow. So I don't want to move around the edge there. I can. Uh, what I'm going to do is to guard here. Okay, got a good guard strike off there. No. This is brave hobgoblin leader. Well, I say brave, we can't hit him for 
Love nor money. Oh, come on. Well, he ran away rather than uh, facing us any further. Get a small amount of experience points. Pool and share. See if there's got anything on them worth taking. Maybe the scale mail from the uh, boss hobgoblin. Take scale mail. No, she's full. Take scale mail. Exit. Uh, no. Broken swords and armour indicate the remains of a battle. You re recognise the heraldic device of a Salamnic knight. Okay. Now this is a maze in here, so it's far better to... Um... Oh, I can pick the lock. Let's try it. Oh, and I managed it. A cleric is opening a chest. His undead minions attack. Okay. So let's just uh, see what the opponents are doing here. We've got uh, a priest in purple here. Armor cost three, which is very defensive. Only 12 hit points. And skelly bones are AC seven. Four hit points. They'll be more susceptible to blunt damage by maces. What we're going to do at first, we're going to use our Cleric Thief to turn the undead. Nothing happens. Okay, that's uh, unfortunate. Um, using a wizard, I'm going to uh, magic. Oh, I could charm person the uh, priest. No, hold it in reserve. Let's magic missile him instead. Target. Few uh, items. Any broadswords? Oh no, we have got a mace. Let's um, swap to mace, and we will move. He does enough damage with the longsword anyway, I think. So let's just try the longsword out. Have you, have you got a mace? No. But I do have a short bow. So let's do that. Shield, getting a short bow out. Do aim previous and target back. Three damage. Three items. Swap to mace. And move. Keeping damage on the um, cleric. So move, can't move any further, um, aim next, ow, so I think I'm going to move up, I'm going to cast, a few light wounds, Move in, whack you, try to aim previous target. It's definitely doing two arrows per shot there. Um, and I'm going to manually target Rin. Okay, and then we'll do Dung Guard. Um, continue. That's a lot of experience points. Okay, so we pull and then share. What can we take? Ooh, got some special stuff here. Chainmail, potion, unidentified, spells. 
So, uh, if I can cast Detect Magic, who's going to have Detect Magic? Is it Prince Cartesarian? Detect, there we go. Then we view, uh, sorry, then we take. Okay, so we've got a magical shield, a magical potion, two magical scrolls, but everything else is mundane, of which the chainmail might be worth taking. So I can't take any of those. So let's scroll down to you. Shield, potion, and clerical scrolls, and take the chainmail. And uh, go back and check play. No, we'll leave the mundane items. This is a safe place to rest. So we're going to set down and recover here uh, temporarily. And uh, then hopefully you can join me when we come back and we'll continue clearing out Throttle. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Goodbye. I fought with lions and wolves, but I've never fought myself before. It's over everything I've